I would like to introduce Joe Ramos, who is from the Vietnam 50th War Commemoration uh, Program, and he is going to make a special presentation. Joe. I have to make a note to myself. If I'm ever a paid public speaker, never follow General Powell. <laughs> <laughs> and if I was a professional singer, never follow the West Point of my clean cup. And before I begin, you know, my wife always reads me that you know, I'm at the door at 5 a.m. Anybody that commutes in Northern Virginia knows why. And I don't get home until about 1900. She'll ask at dinner time at the dinner table, how's your day? I just respond with fine. And then she asks, well, do you have anything special? The answer is normally not really. Well, I can't wait till she asks tonight. I'm going to be able to respond. I was about four feet from an American hero. Sir, it was an honor to sit near you. Thank you. Um, I'm Joan. I work at the Vietnam War Commemoration Office. I'm the chief of events. The reason I'm here is to support one of our commemorative partners, the Vincent Hall Retirement Community. Um, we have the Vietnam Veteran Lapel Pin. Our commission has a simple mission, is to thank and honor the service, valor, and sacrifice of Vietnam veterans. And we do so with a beautiful pen known as the Vietnam Veteran Lapel Pin. It's to recognize the 7.2 million um, United States military veterans who served during the Vietnam War and to thank and honor them. Eligibility for this pen is not just limited to those in theater. It is to support all the living U.S. veterans who served on active duty in the United States Armed Forces, including the United States Coast Guard and the United States Merchant Marines between November 1st, 1955 and May 15th, 1975. We also include those who served on active duty and Vietnam theater of operations prior to November 1st, 1955. At this time, what we would like to do is initially present one to General Powell if I could ask Admiral Martin to please join me on stage.
Now, ladies and gentlemen, it's going to be our honor to have Jeff Powell and Jeff Davies. We're not going to pin a bottom of the interest of time. We're going to present them these lovely cases, which we thought was going to match your place like that. Thank <laughs> you. 
never survives the first shot. <laughs> so we're going to make a small change here and we're going to ask, we've been asked to sing the Armed Forces Medley for you. Nice. So if you know how that goes, if you, if you hear your service song, if you have a family member who served in that service, if you like the words to the song, if you heard it on the radio, the TV, to stand up and honor the people who have served in that service. Ladies and gentlemen, the Armed Forces Medley. Anchors away, my boys.
Bye, everybody. Take care. Bye. All I can say is, wow. wow. <laughs> this is really a day to remember. Oh, yes. Uh, it started off fabulous and got more fabulous and more fabulous and to see um, General Powell sing with the, uh, the Glee Club was pretty awesome. So hopefully you got a lot of pictures and we captured these, uh, these memories because it was just a, a fabulous morning. Um, I, uh, again, thanks to General Powell and the West Point Alumni Glee Club. Yes. You guys are fabulous. I also would like to thank Joe Ramos, uh, Barry Wiley, Jason Sickles, Terry Ryan for helping to make this event possible. Uh, a special thanks uh, yesterday to yesterday's guest speakers and symposium panel members and also to the filmmaker Norman Lloyd for the film Shakey's Hill. And we have a copy of Shakey's Hill, so if you have never seen it, I encourage everybody um, to see it. Uh, at Doug Home, thank you very much for introducing the film and helping us uh, make that a reality here and to be able to show it. A shout out goes to our uh, Vincent Hall Retirement Community resident, Glenn Bratchard. Glenn, stand up. And all the residents who contributed to the slideshow presentation and the exhibit outside, thank you very much for sharing some very touching um, and raw memories with us. Uh, the program would not have been possible without the assistance of Angela Armanakis, Paula Mancic, Elle Thompson, um, Sarah Sims, Dining Services, Housekeeping, Security, Administration, and all of the Vincent Hall Retirement Community staff who, as always, pitch in without a word. Um, they will do everything and anything uh, to make it a good day for our residents and for one another. I have the most wonderful team any person could ever ask for. They are wonderful. And of course, a special thanks to Fred Johnson. Fred, I know you don't like to say that, but one more time. This, this was Fred's vision. It was his dream, and it came to reality. So in closing, I again salute all of our Vietnam veterans and civilians, as well as family members, who answered the call of duty and fought a war that so many criticized and then wanted to forget. We will never forget. You are all true heroes, and we are very, very glad that you are home. Yeah. Thank you very much. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. Thank you.